Russia refutes White House assessment of war dead, fires back at Ukraine's casualties. Russia on Tuesday broadly refuted assertions from the White House that tens of thousands of its soldiers have died in Ukraine in recent months. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov blasted as unreliable the assertions on Monday from White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby, who said 20,000 Russians have been killed in battle since December. Peskov added the Pentagon has no such data, according to a translation of his remarks, and he urged reporters to focus only on those figures that the Russian Defense Ministry publishes. Moscow has regularly released misleading, selective or outright false information about its war in Ukraine. Another Kremlin official claimed that more than 15,000 Ukrainian soldiers were killed in April alone and that Russian forces destroyed 430 armored vehicles. The latest numbers and Russia's rebuttal expose how much bloodier the war in Ukraine has become in recent months as both sides settle into what U.S. officials now consider a grinding war of attrition, particularly around the strategically important eastern city of Bakhmut. Kiev and its western backers have also disclosed little about battlefield losses, and Kirby on Monday declined to answer questions about Ukraine's war dead. Leaked U.S. intelligence assessments from the end of February revealed in April through troves of information shared on the social media platform Discord, indicated Ukraine at that time had lost as many as 17,000 troops since Russia first invaded in early 2022. However, fighting around Bakhmut in Ukraine's east has dramatically accelerated as both sides trade artillery fire and exploding drone attacks accounting for the dramatic rise in at least Russian war deaths that the U.S. revealed publicly this week. Russia on Monday appeared eager to portray its forces as on the offensive and ready to continue fighting. The armed forces of Russia are active along the entire line of contact. Despite the unprecedented military assistance from Western countries, the enemy is suffering significant losses, said Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. Shoigu also insisted that Russia's industrial base has been able to keep up with producing the ammunition its forces need, a stark contrast with assertions from Western intelligence and from Russia's own senior officials. Logistics problems remain at the heart of Russia's struggling campaign in Ukraine. Russia does not have enough munitions to achieve success on the offensive, British military intelligence concluded in its latest public assessment. That follows claims from the chief financier of Wagner Group, Yevgeny Prigazin, who said in an interview over the weekend that he needs as much as 100 times more ammunition than Moscow is currently dispensing to his forces in Bakhmut in advance of Ukraine's pending offensive.